We will take questions now. Hey, what, Danny, what can you say about the uh, routine resilience and kind of just the, the ability to finish in the red zone specifically today? Yeah, I mean, that was something we focused on all spring, all camp, was getting down there and finishing and putting touchdowns on the board uh, instead of field goals. I don't think we did a great – I mean, we did a good job. Obviously, we want to improve and do better, uh, but I think we'd be proud of, you know, the improvements we made and continue to work on that. Andy, when that block punt happened and they get, they get up and they go up double digits, was there, were there, was there like leaders like yourself or like anybody else on the sideline saying, hey, let's get this together, or was there just a collective sense of like, hey – you know, yeah, we're on the road, but we still got to stay focused here. Um, I mean, we we I I told the guys last night in the team meeting that this thing isn't going to go smooth. We're gonna we may go down. Um, it's just how it goes on the road. They have a lot of energy with the fan base and, and the crowd they had. Um, so I think you know no one really batted an eye, no one blinked. It was just all right. Let's get a positive play and then and then stack on that. Danny, you had three straight three and outs to start the game, and then you scored on five straight possessions after that. What changed? What adjustments were you able to make after that slow start? Um, it was really just we needed one positive play to spring us and get us going. Um, like I said before about weather and the storm, we, we knew that they were going to come out with some energy and emotion, and we're going to have to match that and, and do better next time on the road. But um, you know, we, we felt like once we got a rhythm going, that we'd be uh, we'd be all right, and I think that's what happened. Hey, Kenny, this is Chris Idell from Hurston Radio, in Baltimore. Congratulations on the big win. Uh, just talk about the crowd noise. Is it, is it the largest crowd you played in, in in two years, and how did you get yourself and you guys uh, in the in, in sync? Yeah, definitely the largest crowd in two years. Um, I mean, we did a really good job of communicating all day. I don't think we had a communication problem. Um, you know, the guys up front and the guys on the outside were, were doing a good job of getting back into the huddle. Um, or if we were going up tempo, uh, the communication was good with the hand signals and everything. So um, I think we prepared all week pretty well for it, uh, similarly in that with the speakers. And, uh, you know, we did a good job today with it. What were you seeing with uh, Casey here today? I mean, how was your connection with him? Yeah, um, you know, got a great connection with, you know, Taysir and, uh, you know, trust him to make those plays and put the ball up for him. Uh, been in a lot of situations with him, so I know he's a guy that when the ball's up in the air, he's going to go and get it. You know, same with a lot of our guys on, on, this, on this receiving core. I've been playing a lot of ball with these guys, so, you know, I have a lot of trust in all of them. And your uh, offensive line came through there in the fourth quarter when you were putting the game away. How did those guys protect you today? How did they block for the running game? Yeah, they did an unbelievable job protecting all game. Um, you know, stayed up really clean. If any time I was scrambling, I was trying to free a guy up down the field. Um, so, that, you know, they did an unbelievable job. Uh, you know, they'll be eating good Monday, I can tell you that. Um, and I think, you know, they did a great job in the run game. It takes takes time on the road to get the running game going. Um, you know, we had to wear them down a little bit, but they showed up on that last drive and we needed them. Kenny, what was it like when uh, you see Jared Wayne throw that touchdown pass? It's the second time that you guys have pulled off a trick play for a touchdown against a Josh Heifel-led team, but uh, had to feel good seeing someone else do it, uh, getting into it with the soul in the end zone. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, pre-snap, I didn't love the look, and then they kind of, um, you know, softened up a little bit on the outside. Shockey made a great block. I kind of told him before the snap that, you know, his block would be the key to – to score in there if we were if we were to score. So he did a hell of a job of, you know, securing that block. And then Jared put it up to Lucas and it was it was a great play just like we practiced it. Kenny, what kind of win like this in week two do for you guys winning on the road and SEC team and, and all that? Yeah, I think it builds confidence for the team, validation of all the hard work we put in. Um, you know, everyone, you know, really prepared hard for this game, but um, it really doesn't mean too much in the in the grand scheme of things. We have to go out there and, and, and uh, you know finish off you know finish the game this week and then we have to go play Western Michigan, who's a really good team, and, and they'll come in ready to go. You know, they're going to come in hot. They're, they know we're coming off a big win, so we got to make sure that we're ready for them. Might have froze. We're good? Kenny, we're going to cut you loose. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you, bud. All right, thank Appreciate you. It.